would you like to know which kind of food business you would like to open is it very confusing sometimes that there are so many concepts in the market there is a coffee shop there is a restaurant there is a cloud kitchen there is a lounge there are small udp corners there are small shops there are big shops there are ac restaurants non ac restaurants bars lounge bars so many concepts in the marketplace and it is very very confusing so today i am going to open up the secrets of starting a simple kind of food business which is how to start a coffee shop or how to start a cafe so today's main focus would be to reveal how simply to think about starting a cafe what all are the points so if you are really interested in starting a coffee shop of your own a cafe of your own this is a must watch video for you hi my name is gopal kamat i am a restauranter and the founder of get your restaurant where we teach you how to start a food business any kind of food business it might be in very plain simple language where you even if you don't have any experience you can understand it clearly learn it from this channel and uh, go i go out there and open your own food business if you really really are interested in uh, starting and owning a food business of your own please subscribe to this channel watch all the videos we have videos in english we have videos in hindi and uh, do feel free to catch up with me and of course at the end of this video i am going to tell you something special which will take you more deeper into starting your own food business so let let's start focusing on the topic at hand which is how to start a cafe in india so first and foremost i would like you to understand what is a cafe what makes a cafe or a coffee shop different than any other restaurant if you go and if you check out on google the definition is a coffee shop is a place which serves light snacks and hot or cold beverages and it is exactly that if you are talking about restaurants we serve in the restaurants there are all kinds of uh, uh, food uh, dishes which are served they are serving lunch they are serving dinner they are serving breakfast they are serving midnight food they are serving snacks and then tea coffee is also served so more or less everything is served but a coffee shop or a cafe is more or less a little lighter place where the duration of customers might be little more or less but the food type which is served is more on a light in nature they are serving sandwiches they are their uh, coffees of course it's a cafe so coffee shop is served. especially in india now we have tea cafes or tea villas because india is a predominantly tea drinking nation we are we have a lot of people majority of people are drinking tea that's why the coffee concept is uh, has changed into tea villas or tea cafes where you they are serving teas along with coffees so it's more when when we talk about the coffee shop or a cafe the most important location where you would find uh, you would find uh, to focus on is the location which is in between a specific place where uh, there are uh, where people come to do their stuff so let's say uh, from in between a station and a hospital you have a place nearby a, a university or a college or anywhere where there is a crowded place where people are want to meet or they are potential to meet there a coffee shop could be situated because that could be the point for their meeting and that can be a point to have a short meeting or a long meeting depending on the nature of that meeting but that is where the coffee is had a little light snacks are had and stuff like that yeah so what is wh why is it different than other restaurant as i mentioned now other restaurants usually serve uh, are serving so much more than a coffee shop and a coffee shop or a cafe is not a place where people come to have a whole meal you know they come with their family to eat right all the courses of the food so it is more or less of a lighter place and more or less of a lighter uh, occasion uh, more or less of a lighter reason why people are coming there yeah so now how to find a suitable location as i mentioned the best place would be a place which is crowded Uh, not in a marketplace as such but nearby a marketplace where there is lot of rush where people are supposed to come and meet together or a place in between a hospital and a station 
in between a college and a station in between a marketplace and a station a uh, nearby residential areas where people could uh, come in the evening they can sit there have chill out so coffee shop uh, the location could be more or less anywhere and everywhere where people are coming where people so of course this is a very very basic uh, th uh, basic thought while choosing a location but bigger mistakes are done when people choose a location which is very isolated which is not uh, somewhere where people can easily come so you have to always focus to find a location where the location is little bit on the premier side where where your uh, coffee shop is easily found by people who want to sit and have a talk a couples want to sit uh, you know uh, friends want to have uh, have a coffee have a sandwich maybe chill out or something like that i hope you get this point yeah now choosing the right property once you have a location right once you have chosen a location a specific location or specific venue then you need to find out the right property ideally a, a better property would be to find out a rectangular place where you know you can have a good layout where people can enter they have a sitting area besides the back side of that there is the uh, display counter behind that there is the cash counter and a small kitchen for you to make the coffee and you to make the sandwiches and you to display the sandwiches or uh, cakes or uh, pastries or whatever depending on your menu yeah after that you have to plan your finances one thing which i want you to focus on is if you are going out for a cafe please make sure that out of the whole budget which you are going to spend try to have at least 10 to 20% of your own uh, money when you are putting in there are a couple of reasons and please don't take it as a financial advice this is not a financial advice this is just my personal opinion but i would say that if you have around 10 20% of your own money rather than uh, uh, rather than uh, uh, borrowing 100% from outside there is a little bit of comfort little bit of uh, kind of like a peace when you are running the show and uh, it really gives you more confidence when you have little bit of skin in the game rather than having all money uh, borrowed from outside yeah now let's move ahead how to plan a layout so ideally a layout for a coffee shop is pretty plain simple when you go inside early you would start with the sitting area where there are there is a comfortable sitting place when you go uh, ahead more than that uh, inside on the back side there is a display counter and that display counter will actually display the food which you are going to serve most of the time it is displayed most of the time it is not depending on what you can display it physically also you can display it on the tvs display tvs on top led tvs on top and behind that you have the cash counter on that counter itself you have the cash counter and one or two people to uh, uh, work there who are going to make your products which are going to be served in the coffee shop and those products would be like sandwiches it can be anything depending on your menu and we are going to talk about the menu down yeah now after you have the layout ready you can go for execution interiors exterior setup please uh, keep in mind to get the place done as fast as possible because let's say you take a place on rent and the rent there is a no rent period of one month or two month depending on how much time you get your landlord gives you you have to make sure that your place is ready be before that so that you your place opens up and starts making money uh, and you don't have to pay the rent just for the sake of paying it it will be pure waste as far as the this thing is concerned now we will focus on the menu now this is a very very important thing if your coffee shop is located more towards the uh, market area where there are a lot of common people traveling and all i would say you could have a mix of tea coffee as well as small size finger foods or stuff which people could have which would i know it is it is going to stretch your concept a little bit and it is taking your concept little bit towards the restaurant side but the idea is to get more people in your coffee shop as possible uh, nowadays coffee shops have started offering little bit heavier foods also like pastas or like uh, uh, desserts or like pies or like any other stuff so you have to <coughs> sorry you have to think about that ki what would be most sold to your customers who are moving nearby you know if you exactly talk about a coffee with a cafe shop a coffee or a, a cafe which is there in france it is it is serving just coffees 
मे बी अ कपल ऑफ बिस्किट्स और कुकीज और स्टफ बट इन इंडिया द डेफिनेशन हैज टू बी एग्जिस्टेड अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर लोकेशन सो प्लीज डोंट जस्ट थिंक आई विल जस्ट सेल कॉफी बिकॉज इट इज अ कैफे इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट यू कैन सर्व नाउ डेज मैकडोनल्ड्स वो अ बर्गर चेन स्टार्टेड सर्विंग कॉफी स्टारबक्स वो अ सर्विंग कॉफी हैव स्टार्टेड सर्विंग बर्गर्स और सैंडविचेस सो just keep in mind that once you have taken a place it is going to uh, uh, the rent is to be paid and we have to do as much sale as possible kfc has started uh, the kfc chain has started selling pulaos or uh, rice so it doesn't matter whatever your customer asks for you can serve shawarmas maybe ready made shawarmas you can get it and you can put it. of course it will go a little soggy you have to work the things out you can serve tacos you can serve uh, nachos or you can try to get as much of over the shelf food sold as much possible because that is going to get more revenue in your cafe and that is going to make you more profitable as well as to sustain your business for the long term yeah now we'll move ahead uh, applying for licenses yeah once your place is ready once your menu is ready you can apply for the licenses i have a in depth video in this channel on this channel where you the licenses and all are described in detail so we will go for that 10th is recruiting staff i don't think you will require more than a couple of staff because it the menu is pretty short and please don't over staff your restaurant because it is going to eat into your working capital i would suggest a working capital or the working capital means the money which you need to run the place of as far as your fixed costs are concerned i would say a working capital of at least 4 to 6 months to be included in the whole budget of the capital investment so that you don't have a pressure of running the place till the sales pick up yeah so uh, please uh, have that in mind now we will move towards opening the cafe once your once your staff is recruited then you can open the cafe please promote your cafe once your opening is done please promote your cafe uh, and uh, if you are launching some new food items like Uh, let's say you are launching cheesy nachos or you are launching uh, freaky shakes or you are launching any other products try to get couple of instagram influencers to make some reels and promote local instagram influencers uh, you can do the barter also or you can in fact i am going to do a in depth video of how to promote your food business along with your uh, these instagram influencers and uh, but you have to do that because nowadays you have to be in front of people uh, who you have to be in front of people where they are you cannot uh, just put up a couple of uh, holdings and expect people to come you have to be in front of them so that they don't forget you and you have to tell them what is special in your place and that is going to give you give you more uh, coverage that is going to give you more exposure and that is going to help you to run your show sell as much of coffees as much of teas as much of sandwiches as much of pizza pasta burger whatever is there in your cafe and to make as much sales as possible which could take care of your uh, uh, salaries which could take care of your rent which could take care of your profits as well as it could help you create a brand of yourself yeah of your uh, coffee shop yeah so these these are all the things which you require in order to start a cafe i hope you like this video if you want to learn deep about by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends and give a comment or ask me questions whatever you have in mind regarding this video or any other video or rather about the topic of the food business i will be glad to make a video on your specific uh, question if it really uh, i feel that it really is a stronger question i will obviously take up i always go through the uh, comments and choose my topic based on the comments as well as the questions so uh, i hope you like this video if you want to learn deeper into how to start your own food business of your ex- or if you are existingly owning a food business check out my website www.gopalkamat.in i run a coaching program called rlf coaching program restaurant launch formula coaching program more than 300 people have already joined my coaching program and uh, there there i have given a step by step way for you to go through and start a food business and apart from that once you have joined my coaching program and you are a member you get private access to me where you talk to me every week live on tuesdays at 6 o'clock 
face to face on a zoom call where i come live and i answer your questions or wherever you are stuck i give you my opinion so if this really excites you go to my website whatever this uh, this url is https colon slash slash www.gopalkaman.in share this video subscribe to this channel follow this page and uh, i hope uh, you like this video go out there start a coffee shop start a restaurant join my coaching program and we will make sure i will make sure and you both will make sure that you are successful in your food business yeah i hope uh, uh, that is really helpful for you please comment with your questions and how you felt about this video or if you have any other questions in your mind about the food business this is gopal kama signing off i will meet you in the next video bye bye